Good morning. We are going to look today at how to use TouchCast Studio uh, to make presentations. So when we've downloaded the TouchCast app, you'll find it on your screen on your iPad. Let's start this up. You'll notice that there's a lot of options that you can do right at the beginning here of different types of TouchCasts. We want to do a news report, so find the one that says Newscast. We're going to do this on types of robots, so press Newscast and then give it a title. So you could do the latest on, or I can backspace and change this whole title. Um, I am going to do this one about Roombas. So I'm going to call my page the Roomba Revolution. And my search term here, I'm just going to type something in about robots. All right. When you're done, press the Done button at the very top of your screen. And then you'll notice that it loads on your iPad. All right, this may take just a second. Down here, the bottom docking area shows you all the things that are lined up in your screen. So if I tap on the button that says robots, it's going to bring a box on the screen, which is a Twitter feed uh, talking about robots. And I don't really want to allow that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. If I don't want this, I'm going to tap and hold that little icon and drag it to the trash at the bottom so I can get rid of it. Okay. If I don't like this little news feed that's on the bottom, I can tap the Google button, tap it again, and it'll go away. If I want to get rid of it completely, I hold the Google button down and drag it to the trash. Okay. So if I want this to be about Roombas, how do I get some pictures about Roombas? I'm going to press the button right here that says Add a VAP. The V stands for Video, so it's a video app. I press that button. If you've already saved pictures, go to the top and the icon that says photo. If you want to add a YouTube video about a Roomba, you might go down here to YouTube and find it. Uh, the easiest thing I've used is this one over here called Flickr. It is a social photo media sharing sort of thing. So people that have pictures can share them with the world. I'm going to go in here and do a search and say, does anybody have pictures of Roombas? Roomba. Search. Oh, there's a lot. So let's take this first one right up here. So we get a picture of you know, the store. We'll notice that all the pictures we select show up at the bottom. Uh, maybe here's one in action. Yeah, we'll use that one. I can scroll down. You want about four or five pictures of your robot. Okay. Um, this one's not bad. It looks like a different model. Take that one. Let me find one more picture for mine. Um, this one's kind of cool right here. It shows the path that it took. So I have one, two, three, four pictures. I'm ready to use them, so I press the button that says Use. Okay. So now whenever those buttons down here are pressed on my iPad, it shows up on my screen. If I don't like the placement, I can drag it. Put it where I want it. I can make it a little bit bigger. You'll notice that there's buttons down here that help me figure out how I want to do it. So maybe it's when I press this button I want it to be full screen. So I'd press this button over here. And now whenever I tap this picture, it's going to come in full screen. Here we go. If I want a different picture, I can press a different picture. And that one will appear on my screen. Okay. I think we are almost ready to record. We can press the recording button, and then as I'm speaking, I can put pictures up on the screen. Or I could do one more thing, which is add the green screen effect, and a lot of people like this. So I'm going to press the effects button. You'll notice there's one here called green screen. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't seem to do anything, but if I have a green screen behind me, like way over there back in that corner, it's actually a green shower curtain, it's going to take whatever image I want in it, okay? And this lets me adjust what I want as a background picture. So I'm going to press that button, there's my thumb, and I'm going to see if I can find a different picture to put in the background. I wanted Roombas, so I'm going to find my Flickr app again, which is right here. I'm going to do a search for beach so I can be on a beach using my Roomba, vacuuming up all 
all the sand on the beach. Okay, I like that first one, so I click it. And we'll notice and now that green area is going to be that beach that I put in. Pretty cool. So I can hit record right at the bottom. It's this button here. You wrap this up. Gives me a breakdown one, two, one. And I can start talking about Roombas. So if you go to the store, you might see a display that has a whole bunch of Roombas on it. Uh, Roombas work great on carpeting or on hardwood floors. And they are randomly programmed to make a path all around your room so that they clean everything up. When you're done, press the record button again. You're done. And you can go up to the right hand corner, say done. And you have just made your first touch cast. It's really pretty easy. Not too bad. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, when you're done, we'll upload it to Google Classroom. All right. Enjoy.